place where the land may see There is a home so sweet, the house of an artist With something to show us, painting pictures of brush and pen Up on the paper in a book that's so beautiful It is a joy to read because the stories you find in this book of wonders Are some of the most amazing you will hear For the stories were inspired over the ages By God's Holy Spirit who guided your writers long ago John is the friar's name, and you will find with him three friends so special having fun all together. Renata, Leopold, and Tim, who want to share with you all the good stories that the friar John would tell. And if you like, you can join me for friends and maybe stay for a while, and together we will play. Or perhaps you would like to join in the chorus, no need to worry if they sing a little out of tune. If you prefer to play with the smallest, come. You can enter too. So come, we are waiting in this holy place. We're really sure that you want to hear the stories of our John. The talents. Leopold, you have made lots of models. Yes, Father John. Yes, look at them. And what is this one that you're making? It's a frog and it jumps. Yes, yes, and it jumps. Yes, look. Ooh. Wow, that's beautiful. So does it really jump? Of course, look. Let's see. Let's see. Wow. See that? It jumps wow. really high, don't you think? It's a really that's high jumper. Amazing. It's yes, I made it with paper. It's so easy to do. Hang on, that's the door. Could it be? Let's knock at the door, I wonder. Uh, can I play with your frog? Yes, you can try. Oh. 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 Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let him go. This from Sister Teresa. Oh, Sister, Sister Teresa. Oh. Listen, she say? says, oh. Wow. My Let's dear see. friends, this is just a quick mm. note to say mm. I'm coming to visit you on the 15th of this month. Oh, you're yeah, coming here, that's great. great. I'm yeah. really looking forward to seeing you all and I'm sure we'll have a great mm. time. With love, Teresa. Oh, yeah. Oh, the 15th, that's today. Today? What a coincidence. Today's the day of a patron saint, a very special day for her. The feast day of St. Teresa of Avila. Wow. Is the day her saint's day? That's right, Leopold. Mm. Maybe we could throw a surprise party. Yeah, 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 it's a party, it's a surprise party. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. So then, let's decide who's doing what. Okay, okay. that's a good idea. Now then, what mm. can we do? Mm. <laughs> What about the special song on my guitar? Yes, that's it's good. A song yeah. especially for her. Very good. Yes, and yes. I can paint a poster for her saying congratulations. Oh, that's that's great. great. And what about you, Tim? Oh. Me? I cannot do anything. I'm so small. You're small, it's yes, true. Yes. But I can think of something you do really well. Something I could do oh. really well. What do you mean? What's Timothy good at doing? He's very good at writing exactly. poems. Exactly. Yes, yes, I heard them. They are lovely. Yes. You see, you can write poems. What do you think? Yes, how good! A poem for the sister. Very good. A poem, a song, and a poster, and it's going to be a great party with me and Tim and Minata and. What can I do? Huh? I know. I'm going to bake a cake. Oh yes, Father John, please a cake. Oh yes, with cream and caramel and chocolate and almonds. Oh yes, a cake for the sister. Yum yum yum. So delicious. I'll leave you to get on with it. Huh? I may be a little while. See you later. Goodbye. What do I have to do? Oh, I'll close that. Okay. A song, she won't be disappointed. I'm not going to write her a poem either. Anyway, maybe she doesn't even like poems. She'll be happy with the cake, don't you think? 
Yes, I think a cake is plenty for a party, because what people really like best is to eat. Yes, we'll do what everybody else does. We're just saying happy Saints yes. Day to you, yes. and yes, give go. her a cake, and that's all. Yes, See? Uh, happy Saints Day to you. Happy Saints Day to you. Hello, everyone. No. So how's Hello, it all going? Well, we started, yeah. we but then I'm afraid finish. we stopped. Mm -hmm. You just stopped? But what happened? Yes. Um, because one of the strings is broken. Ah. And the pencil's too big for me. And my poster is ruined because the paint ran all over yes. it. And so you're not going to do anything? No. 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 You mean, at the first sign of difficulty, you're going to stop using your talents? Oh, what? Your talents, your natural ah. gifts. The ones God gave you so that you could do good and help other people. Ah. Renata, he gave you a talent for music. Oh. And Leopold, he gave you the soul of a sculptor. Ah. Timothy... He made you a poet. Don't you want to use these talents to make other people happy? You'll end up like the servant in the parable of the talents. A parable? Yes, yes. a parable. Do you want to hear it? Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. A parable, a parable. I want to hear a parable. It's the parable of the talents. But first, I'll explain what a talent is. In Jesus' time, it was also a big sum of money. A lot of money! Heaps of money. Ah. A huge pile of gold and silver. Ah. Ah. Oh, a man with a donkey. Look a little donkey. Where's he going? Well, the parable starts like this. There was once a man who had to make a journey to a land far, far away. Before he set out, he called his servants and gave them some important instructions. The first servant came forward. I'm here, sir. He gave him five talents and said, Take these five talents. I want you to manage them for me while I'm away. Very good, sir. He called a second servant, and he gave him a large amount of money. Yes, sir. Take these two talents. I want you to manage them for me while I'm away. Yes, sir, as you wish. Finally, he called a third servant, and gave him just one talent with the same words as to the other two. Hmm, what? Take this talent. I want you to manage it for me while I'm away. Hmm. Hmm. After he had given talents to each one according to their ability, the old man set out on his journey to that faraway country. When their master had left, the first servant decided to do as he had been ordered. I'll buy these sheep. That man bought a field and some sheep. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. He managed that flock so wisely that soon it had doubled in size. The servant who'd been given two talents went out and bought good farmland. Like this field. Thank you very much. Goodbye. He planted seeds, and then he harvested the crops, and then he sold them. And in time, his two talents had turned into four. The third servant didn't know what to do with the money. He thought of the problems he might have if he went into business. In the end, he decided he'd better not risk it. So he hid the money instead. A long time passed, but eventually the servant's master came home and he wanted to settle his accounts. Sir, you entrusted me with five talents, so here are five more that I made for you. Oh, well done, good and faithful servant. 
You have been faithful with small things. I will trust you with greater. Come and join in your master's happiness. Sir, you entrusted me with two talents. Here are two more that I made for you. Ah, oh, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with small things. I will trust you with greater. Come and join in your master's happiness. Sir, I knew you were a hard master. Reaping where you haven't sown and gathering where you haven't scattered, so I was afraid and I hid the talent in the ground. I've got it here for you. Here it is. See that? Every last penny, just as you left it. Huh? Hmm. You wicked and lazy servant. You knew that I was a demanding master, so you should have put my money in a bank where I could have recovered it with interest. Take the talent from him and give it to the man who has ten talents. Hmm. As for this good-for-nothing servant, throw him outside into the darkness. You see, the man who buried the talent is like you. Because you could do something to make someone else happy, but you won't. Ah. But I can't do anything, my guitar oh. string is broken. Neither can I, my pencil's too oh. big. My paint ran all over the yes, paper. It is. Yes, God wants us to learn to get oh. over our difficulties. Oh. I'm sure all these problems can be solved. Oh. What if I say the verses and we're not to write the song? Oh. Wonderful. Oh, good idea. Oh, but oh. my guitar string is broken. Oh. That's not important. I have a guitar string somewhere. You oh. can have that. Oh, wow. This is incredible. Timothy has all kinds of things in that house of his. Da, da, da. There's the string. Yes, he... Can you use this one? Oh, Timothy, it's just perfect. Oh, good. Thank you very much. You're welcome, Renata. You see, Renata? Yes, it's true. John, you're yeah. right. Thank you. But there's no solution for me. The paint ran all over the place and I can't fix it. Oh, what a shame. Are you going to bury your talent mm. like in the parable? No. Mm. No. No. Mm. No, I don't want to no. bury anything. I'll yes. try again. Father yes. John, do you have more paper? Of course. If it's for the Leopold that won't give up, I have all the paper in That's the world. Good. He'll give me new paper yes, and I'll yes, make the yes, perfect poster. poster. You'll see, yeah. yes. And what should we do with this? Throw it away? Yes, 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 throw it away. Paper. No, no, please wait, Father John. Don't throw it away. I'm going to need it. Do you want it? Yes, Father John. Let What's me have you going it, please. It? It's a surprise. Thank you. Well, it looks as though he's found a way to use his talents. OK, let's write the song. Yes, I have the paper. Well, I see that everybody is using their talents. Now I'm going to use mine to make a cake. Yes, good evening. Oh, good, good, yummy. OK. Uh, Red, we're going to have a party. Um, yes? No, 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 no. Uh, let me think a moment. Renata, can you help me with the cake? Oh, yes, yes. Put the egg yolks in here, please. Uh, oh, like this. Thank you very much, Renata. Very good. Mm. It'll be wonderful. Don't get close to the fire. Children, the cake is in the oven. Oh, good, yummy, yummy. Dear sister, we all love you. We're so glad you came to town. So let heavenly Saint Teresa ask God to bless you from his throne. And when well, she asks God for you, he will fill your life. Mm, yes, yes. it smells so good. Yes, it smells lovely. Let's see. Oh. Mm. Yes, mm, it smells, smells lovely. It smells so good. Oh, it looks nice. Now we just decorate it. Oh. Yes. Well, 
Let's go clean the table to prepare the party. Okay, okay, okay. let's go. Okay, let's go. Here, Fab John, I put the clothes. Thank you, Tim. You're welcome. Oh, that's a lot of cream. Yes, lots of cream. Mm. He's covering oh. everywhere with cream. I'm sure sister will love it. Oh, yes. Mm. Now pink. Oh, how pretty. Mm. Oh, it's this Teresa. Oh, it's lovely. Yes, it's so nice. It's so lovely. Oh, she's right on time. <gasps> come oh, in, come in, sister. She's coming, she's coming. Welcome to our Thank you so much, Father John. Hello, Hello, Hello Renata. Sister. Hello, children. Hello. How are you? Mm. I've got a little present <gasps> for you. That's great. Oh, Look, you. it's a storybook. Oh, Do you like it? Oh, that's beautiful. We also have some presents for you, sister. Yes, yes. Oh, really? A present for me? What is it? I can't tell you what it is because Father John says the cake is a surprise for your saint's day. <gasps> you made a cake? I mean, a surprise for my saint's yes. day? Yes, here it is. <gasps> Happy Saint's, saint's day, day to you. Happy Saint's Day to you. Happy Saint's Day, Sister Teresa. Happy Saint's Day to you. What a marvellous cake you've made for me. Yes, it looks yes, so yes. delicious. Mm -hmm. And it says Teresa. It says Teresa. But that's not all. Oh, really? The children have written a song especially for you. A song especially yes, for yes, me? Just for yeah. you. Do you want to hear it? I can't wait to hear oh, it. Let's Over go. there, please. Mm. Over there, too. I'm all ears. <laughs> Are you ready? Let's go. Today we have a visit. You will never guess who is it. It's a sister that we hold dear. We're so happy to have her here. She's a friend and a holy sister who has come a very long way. And because her name's Teresa, we celebrate today her saint's day. Dear sister, we all love you. We're so glad you came to town. So the heavenly Saint Teresa has got to bless you from his throne. And when she has got for you, he will fill your life with light. He will help you to be good and to always do what's right. Dear sister, we all love you. We're so glad you came to town. So that heavenly Saint Teresa has got to bless you from his throne. And when she has got for you, he will fill your life with light. He will help you to be good and to always do what's right. Thank you. You're both great artists. What a beautiful song. Oh, I loved thank it. You. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you. Who composed the it? The music is by Renata yes. and the words are by someone who said he didn't know how to write poetry. Yes. It's beautiful and it made me really happy. Oh, good. But yes, where is good. Leopold? Uh -huh. Leopold? Here I am, sister. Surprise! Congratulations! I made you a present! Leopold! Leopold! How yeah, lovely! Yeah! It's a present for you! Another present for yeah, me? Yes! Open it and see! Oh, 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 oh. A beautiful ball and rumpled paper for you! Oh, many thanks, Leopold! Oh, you're welcome! Leopold? Yes? Are you giving a ball of rumpled paper to Sister? Oh. Turn it around, Sister! Ta-da! Huh? What do you think? Oh. It's an origami nativity scene. Oh, that's amazing. So pretty. Oh, yes. Leopold, where did you get such an original idea? Well, I think it came to me when Father John told us not to give up. Oh. Leopold was doubting his talents. But how can it be possible? It was because we had problems preparing the party. But Father John said we should not give up. Then afterwards, he told us a parable. Oh, yes. Which parable is that? A parable that we should always think of when we're feeling downhearted. Yes. You are oh. from the music box. Yes. yes. Good, good, the good. Let's box. listen to the music box. Listen to it, sister. Oh. <gasps> it's very nice. The sister has to listen. It's oh. beautiful indeed. What is it? That's a look. Yes, I can see. Hmm. One has a bag of money and the other has more bags. And he has a hole in the ground because he wants to hide it. Yes, yes, yes. There was a man with lots of money. 
who wanted to journey to a faraway country. And before he left, he called his servants. Could they be trustworthy in his absence? Take these five talents, he said to the first one. When I come back here, I'll see how you've done. To the second, he said, two talents for you. And on my return, I'll see what you can do. One talent left, the third servant was there. And he received it with a lot of fear. What if I waste it? He thought. Or lose it? How come he gave me all this money? After he had given each man the task to the faraway country, he started at last and the moment he left, two servants began to get right to work. Each one had a plan. The first bought some sheep, they soon were a flock. He took his five talents and doubled the lot. The other bought a field, an orchard to sow. And when the harvest came, his money did grow. But the one who received the single talent was lazy and didn't make things happen. Doing business, he said, that's not for me. Better to bury it so I don't need to worry. The master returned, called his men to him. The account of the first was most satisfying. Faithful and responsible servant, you made a lot with the little I gave you. Here is your reward. The second servant, just like the first, showed his master the fruit of his work. He gave to his master four talents, and so he was rewarded with many more. The third man made excuses. That talent you gave me, I put it in a safe place until you came back here. I made a little hideout and hid it away in case it was lost or stolen from me. You're very lazy, the master said. You should have put it away in the bank. At least the interest would have given me something. Now, go away. You don't deserve to be near me. How many gifts has the Lord given you? To each one he gave talents, yes it's true. He wants us to use them only for good. So the world's a better place full of love. And what a precious nativity yes, scene. Yes, that's true. But Leopold, you mean you didn't believe in your own talent? I guess I'm just a dummy. No, you're not a dummy, Leopold. Every one of us has wonderful gifts that are given to us by God, but sometimes it's not obvious straight away. And sometimes those who have the most seem to have the least. For example... There was once a saint who was not very intelligent. He found learning difficult. He was St. John Baptiste Marie Vianney, also known as the Curé of Ars. Come on, come on. The Curé of Ars. His family were peasants and good Catholics. When he was a boy, he worked in the fields watching over the sheep. He always wanted to be a priest, and he talked to his fellow shepherd boys about the catechism that his mother had taught him. When he went to school, his teacher saw that the boy would make a good priest and encouraged him in his studies. In those days, the Catholic Church was being persecuted in France. He had to make his first communion in secret. Then he was recruited into the army, but he fell seriously ill and couldn't go to war. He entered a seminary, but although he made a huge effort, he couldn't learn Latin. Only after four attempts did he manage to pass his exams, and finally he was ordained. He was sent to a tiny, unimportant village where his lack of education wouldn't be a problem. When he arrived, the villagers almost never went to church. They were hard-working people, but apart from their work, all they cared about was pleasure. John began a life of prayer and penitence to try and get the people of the village to change. Although public speaking was not easy for him, he prepared his sermons with great care and people began to come from far and around to hear him every Sunday. 
He had such a bad memory that sometimes he forgot his sermon halfway through. Yet even so, he strove to deliver it as well as he could. His words were so full of God's love and he was so kind to others that the whole village began to change. Although he didn't have the intelligence of the proud philosophers of that time, the Cure de Ars, with his modest intelligence, transformed the society he lived in. Thousands of people came to the remote village where he lived to hear him and to reform their sinful lives. Oh, yes, wow. very beautiful. Yeah. And so, a village priest who didn't even speak Latin made the most of his modest talents and became a great saint. What do you think? Yeah. Children, I have to go now. Oh, what a pity. But I promise to return as soon as possible. Okay. Oh, thank you. It was a wonderful oh. party. Yeah, wonderful. I want to thank you all for using your talents in such a wonderful way. Oh. You made me so happy. You're and welcome, sister. I'm very pleased with my presence. It was a great party. Many party. thanks. Oh, thank God you. bless oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you sister, yeah. for your visit. Oh. You can come any time. Thank yes, you very much. Sister. You're yes, welcome. Yes, yeah, sister, come back any time. Oh, sister, holy water. Many thanks, Renata. Goodbye, sister. Goodbye. 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 There was a man with lots of money, wanted to journey to faraway country. And before he left, he called his servants. Could they be trustworthy in his absence? Take these five talents. He said to the first one. When I come back here, see how you've done. To the second, he said, Two talents for you. And on my return, I'll see what you can do. One talent left, the first servant was there. And he received it with a lot of fear. What if I waste it? Or lose it? How come he gave me all this money? For some sheep, they soon were a flock. He took his five talents and doubled the lot. The other bought a field and an orchard to sow. The one the harvest gave his money did grow. But the one who received the single talent was lazy and didn't make things happen. Doing business, he said, that's not for me. Better to bury it so I don't need to worry. To him, the account of the first was most satisfying. Faithful and responsible servant, you made a lot with the little I gave you. Here is your reward. The second servant, just like the first, showed his master the fruit of his work. He gave to his master four talents, and so he was rewarded with many more. What you gave me, I put it in a safe place Until you were here, I made a little hideout And hid it away in case it was lost or stolen from me You're very lazy The master said You should have put it away in a bank At least the interest would have given me something Now go away, you don't deserve to be near me Yes, it's true. He wants us to 